-hmm. Now, what is emerging mm -hmm. is that this whole snit hotel sale mm -hmm. is murkier How? than we ever thought. Tell me more. We have always been told that the Honorable Brad Champon his Rock City offer mm -hmm. was the highest. Okay. And that offer, the intercepted memos which I put out, I've published, his offer is $61 million. No. $61 million. That's the brand champion offer. $61 million. Even though, according to Snape's own valuation, it should be $121 million for the four hotels. Snape disputes this. Mm, I, I, because I have, I, I have, because I, I've seen another document. I have, I have the no, not the 61. They dispute the, the, 121, the 121 million. Yes. They are claiming 59 million dollars, yes, which, which, which is, uh, and I'm glad that Shiraj is looking into this. Mm -hmm. And Shiraj has all the documents that I intercepted. We would, we would know the truth. And look, Snit has been lying all the way, right from the beginning. You remember their 19 May statement? where they sought to create the impression that all these hotels are not doing well, mm -hmm. they need profitability, efficiency, and all of that. Until I intercepted the Deloitte financial statements on Labadi, which proved that Labadi is so profitable. Then they started to say, oh, okay, it's only Labadi. So Labadi is profitable. Why are you selling it? Mm -hmm. And the board chair doesn't address that. Mm -hmm. What is the business case? What is the justification for selling a profitable hotel? Mm -hmm. Now, the point I was making... Now, the former MPP chairman has told us that his 33 or 34 year old That's son, a as he put it, That's mm? a he put in a bid mm -hmm. of between 150 to 200 million dollars. Who said that? Mr. Freddie Blay. Remember that one of the, the, the matters that I have put out. First, I revealed that they were behind the beachfront encroachment at Labadi Beach Hotel. Then I also later on revealed that. They are not telling us, but they also put in a bid. Earlier, when he did the first interview, he said, oh, they are not interested in the hotel. And I had to expose that, that I have gone for the incorporation documents of all those who took part in the bid. Your son is the director of Spartan Ives. Spartan Ives put in a bid. They were one of the six shortlisted. So that's what then compelled him to say, well, we put in 150 to $200 million bid, but we were not snitched said they will give it to uh, Rock City. Now, where does that put all of this claim that the Rock City bid was the highest bid? I thought Rock City was 185. No, it's 61. 61 million. Is it confirmed? Yes. Because yes. I've seen another 61. document even, even where the, it was even, even the Snit statement. Rather disputes yeah. the 121. The Snit statement confirms the 61 million yes. dollars, but they try to dispute the hundred and twenty one million dollars. To make the point that it was, it was at least two million dollars more, more than, than more than the valuation, which is not accurate. You know, so here we are. We have a murky situation. Freddie Blaze telling us that there was a much higher offer, you know, far, far higher than the sixty one million dollars from Rock City. Mm -hmm. Then after I was dead by the Honorable Brian Champon, uh, I had no option than to put out the filings at GRA. We now know that Rock City didn't file its annual tax returns in 2021 and 2022. So the question that arises it's is, not unusual. Is, is where did they get their tax clearance certificate from? Because under, under the, the Ghana's Income Tax Act mm -hmm. of 2015, when you bid for any public contract, public transaction, mm -hmm. you must present and it is, it is, it is a prerequisite yeah, but there are many, many, many you contracts must, without... You must present a GRA tax know. clearance certificate. Now, <laughs> we know that they couldn't have presented a valid tax clearance certificate because they filed their taxes later, after my expose. Then they went to Shiraj on the 23rd of May. They went to GRA, pardon me, uh, on the 23rd of May to now file their tax returns. So what, what year? So what I have done, May tax? this year, May 2024... No, no. Tax for, return for which year? May 2024 for 2022, and then in but the May, bid was in 2020. May 2023 for 2021. The bid was in 2022. Yes, in, oh. in March 2022. In March 2022. Yes, that's a, it is you. You are confusing 
uh, the, the selection of the transaction advisor. It's a transaction advisor which happened earlier, in 2018. And that's what SEM Capital emerged as the transaction advisors, for which we are paying $491,000. So, so, so things were not put in in 2020? No, no. And in, in 20, because, yeah. Because I, I and even, a, and you know, even in 2020, he, he wouldn't have even qualified because the, if you look at the, what's net advertised, you say you must have at least three years of, uh, of, of having been operations. in the space of operations. And Rock City started operations in 2019. So they, they qualified and they started paying taxes or started filing, I should say. They didn't really, they started filing in 2021, if you look at the, the GRA. Uh, documents I have. that you have yeah so what I have done this week doc is that based on the latest developments I have filed an RTI request okay uh, to SNET uh, dated 24 June 2024 uh, a request for information pursuant to article 21 F of the 1992 Constitution and the Rights Information Act 2019 Act 989 I hereby request the following information one Evidence that Rock City Hotel Limited with registration number CS0752620016 bid for SNIT's hotels complied with the Income Tax Act 2015 Act 896 and SNIT's own pre qualification criteria as advertised for project number GRSSNITCS0012022, which mandated all bidders to present a valid Ghana Revenue Authority tax clearance certificate. This request has become imperative, considering that Rock City's record at GRA, which is now available to me, incontrovertibly confirms that Rock City did not file its annual tax returns in the fiscal years of 2021 and 2022. Indeed, Rock City's attempt to file their annual tax returns for the years in issue were carried out belatedly in 2023 and 2024, respectively, long after SNES advertised deadline of 23rd March 2022. The unimpeachable records also show that Rock City was fined an amount of 4,390 Ghana cities by GRA as penalty for filing the 2022 tax returns two years late. That is on May 23, 2024. Two, in addition, I duly request for a copy of the tender evaluation report on the sale of SNE 60% share in Labadi Beach Hotel, La Palm Royal Beach Resort, Ridge Royal Hotel, Elmina Beach Resort, Buzia Beach Resort, and Trust Lodge Limited. Three, I hereby also request minutes of the evaluation committee meetings. I'm hopeful that this right to information request will receive lawful compliance and an expedited response to enable me to continue with my constitutional mandate of parliamentary oversight. Kindly take note that I shall not hesitate to explore all legal options available to me under the Right to Information Act 2019, Act 989, if these requests are not granted within the legally stipulated time. Sincerely, Samokuja Tuablakwa. MP for North Town. So we are waiting for SNET's uh, response to this uh, because particularly for the tender evaluation report and the minutes of the tender committee meetings mm -hmm. it's become even more crucial now with mm -hmm. all the counterclaims whereas SNET and uh, other you know um, government spokespersons are saying that the Rock City offer was 61 million dollars and that was the highest bid. Mm -hmm. We now have the former MPP chairman saying that what, That's what I'm saying. That is what, what his son put in, much, much higher. So let's, let's just get the facts. And you see, SNIT, I don't know why they are keeping so long. This thing has been going on for how many weeks? I would have thought mm -hmm. that SNIT would have held a press conference and put out all the documents. If you have nothing to hide, put out all, all those who put in the tender. Put their tender documents out. Well, put well this, out this, this weekend, they'll be engaging some media personnel. You see, all and, of they, they've and, been and doing and these so things. So they'll, they'll, they'll provide some information to well, them. So Let's what? expect that from Monday, we'll perhaps we'll, we'll find some information yeah. in there. Now, let me, let me conclude on yes. the, the much-anticipated meeting of the president and organized labor, which mm. took place on the 25th. So they've met? They have met. That's and on I, Tuesday? Yes, mm. on Tuesday. Tuesday evening, they met. The meeting started at 4 p.m. It mm. went deep into the night. Organized labor is shocked mm -hmm. at the attempt by the president to defend this transaction really and to refuse to step in and stop it is everybody is shocked so that is why after the meeting i put out a post that i am now convinced that president kufado is the chief architect of the ongoing state capture 
Oh, why? Chief architect. How, how do you, how do you he say that? He is. Look. What makes this, you... This is a matter that immediately... Look at the scandals around in this matter. Where, where are the scandals? I mean, that's where I'm oh, a bit... Uh, the, you know, the, the conflict of the interest. Of the state, violations the of Article 78. Violations of Article yeah. 98. No, no, the you have to be why, clear. Why are you selling a profitable hotel? And oh, organized labor. But, but organized, is... organized labor has said... Uh -huh. that that this transaction they don't agree so with. there shouldn't ever look be at, corporate look, take, takeovers look at the corporate because you are making profit can i can i happens. can i can i compose? no i'm just i'm just uh, so that one is not an argument look at the breach of our procurement laws the breach of the income tax act the uproar look everybody who has spoken on this matter from civil society academia organized labor the chiefs when was the last time you saw chiefs leading a demonstration did you see I, even, the thousands I'm, who poured out? Of I the am streets? even wondering, and, and please week. let me let me ask so, you that question carefully. I have you, serious respect for our chiefs, but just curious. Mm -hmm. Once government owns the land, because I believe that that is government land at the moment. Which land? Uh, the hotels, right? Oh, it's no, not, I'm, I'm curious. It's not government land. The if, la, la general, if, if, sorry, sorry, la, 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 if, la body. If, 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 it is, I'm if it is government land, mm -hmm. why did the Blay family not come to government? Why, did, why are they saying they went to see the like, traditional council no, to take over the beach front? I'm asking you. It's I'm, not no, government no, it's land. the beach front I'm talking about. I'm talking about the hotel. It's not government land. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Okay. I was just curious. It's not. Yeah. You know, and don't waste in the case of, no, the, no, of, the, of the Blay family. Can I ask? You know. So, so look, 